hey guys and welcome back to my channel i um, hope everyone is having a great day in this video i'm just going to do a little voiceover and let you all know how my prep is going and um, where i'm at in this video i am a little bit under seven weeks out the workout footage is from september 13th and my weigh-in was from september 9th so as you saw my weigh-in i weighed in at 135.4 so my weight is steadily going down so that is good like I said before in previous videos I don't think I'm going to be you know as light or as low in weight as I was before but I think my physique is shaping up pretty well and to be able to step on stage in about well now I'm like six weeks out so about six weeks out so I'm going to take you through this leg workout that my sister did. I'm um, trying to focus on my glutes and the hamstrings because that is the area I feel needs the most attention that I need to make pop. So I'm going to, on the days I don't meet with my trainer, I try to focus on this and do um, my cardio. So here we are doing um, deadlifts and glute kickbacks. So when you're doing deadlifts, always make sure you keep your back flat. You are pushing through your heels, and when you get to the top, that you're squeezing your glutes at the top and thrusting your hips forward. So that way you get that um, tension in your glutes and your hamstring. The weight that I'm using on both of these are light, so I'm doing higher reps. So on the deadlifts, I do about 15 to 20 reps. And then on the glute kickbacks, I do 12 reps, 12 to 15 reps. So yes, and we did this for three sets. Each set, 15 to 20 on the deadlifts and 12 to 15 on the glute kickbacks. To remind myself not to jerk and make it one fluid motion all right and then next I'm going to be doing some kneeling squats to really focus on that under butt <laughs> lifting that um, so you can have that nice glute and hamstring tie-in so here I do again 15 to 20 reps trying to keep my reps high weight a little low and just making sure I really focus on the movement focus on getting that contraction so that way I can build that muscle group um, build that um, tie-in that I want just really trying to focus on developing my muscles so yeah you will sit back into this movement and then thrust your hips forward and squeeze your glutes at the top Um, next movement I'll be doing are what are they called single single leg deadlifts that's what they're called I still have to try and uh, not try but I still have to hold on to something during this movement because my balance is not the best I really need to work on my core strength um, when doing these but yeah, so you're just gonna um, hinge at your hip when doing these. Come down, keep your back flat. Try to reach your toes, and then you come back up. And of course, when you get back to the top, you want to squeeze your glutes. Ah, almost fail to catch myself. The struggle is real, guys. My balance is. So yes, and then I did ten on each side. I think with these, because these things are so hard to do. <laughs> I think I did 10 on each leg. Alright, and then we move on to some... It's got um, seated leg curls, I do believe these are called. Hamstring curls. So, yes. I never really use these machines. These are the newer machines at, my, at our gym. And I don't 
too much care for them because the whole thing moves and it throws me off but we still got a good work in using it and then we moved on to the butt plaster machine i do think this is called but guys i can never feel this in my glutes i feel it more in my quads and i don't know if um, my, my foot placement is wrong but right here i kind of had more of my toe of my foot instead of the heel of my foot in the padding and then the next set i did um i made sure i placed my heel and was um, heel farther down and make sure i was pushing through my heel but i still felt it in my glutes versus not my glutes but in my quads versus my glutes and hamstrings so i don't really care for this machine because i can't feel it so i only did two sets of, on here and then um decided i just wait till i got home and did some hip thrust um, at home instead because <laughs> hip thrust i always feel in my glutes and hamstrings so i decided to do some of those and now time for cardio so right here i'm just putting on some sweet sweat to help me sweat off any water weight i can and just get a good sweat in so yeah i did um i think 30 minutes of cardio on the stairmaster and then um, yeah so lately I've been um, some mornings I get up and go to the gym early before work and get my cardio in and I'll get in um, 30 minutes in the morning and then 30 minutes in the evening so um, at least three days a week I get in an hour of cardio and the other three days I will do um, 30 minutes just one session um, 30 minutes of cardio and it's usually my warm-up because usually I do about a 10 minute warm up but it's interval it's like a hit interval so I speed the treadmill up to anywhere from a 7.5 to an 8 and then I slow it down to a 3.5 to a 4 and I do that till I finish a mile and that'll be my warm up before my workout and then after my workout when I'm done with um, lifting weights I will finish up with either 15 or 20 minutes on the Stairmaster or elliptical or treadmill whichever one I'm feeling for the day so yep that is how prep is going guys I, um, I'm not sure if I told you I adjusted my macros um, the, these past two weeks I think well probably not the week of this video but lately I have been at um, about a hundred carbs I'm going to have to look, I think like around 40 fat and 130 protein is where I'm trying to keep my macros. And then going into being six weeks out and five weeks out, I'm going to start carb cycling. So I'm going to lower my lowest day of carbs to around 80. And then on my high days, I'm going to go up to about 115, 120 on carbs and everything else. My fats will adjust based on high or low carb days, but my protein will stay the same. So thank you guys for watching. I hope um, you enjoyed the video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button, guys. And stay tuned with me on this journey to stage. I have three shows planned for this season. So stay tuned for all the upcoming videos. I'm going to have more workouts for you guys. And yeah, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Love you guys.